55 The story of Slim Pickens City within the land called the Changers Church Valley Reservation. This town was named after the only one that lived here when we showed up in this small valley. His name was Slim Pickens because he all said here in the valley there was always Slim Pickens. As long as he had lived here, he said he had to go about five miles south just to get some rabbit and a deer once in a while. Then he said what drew him here was the great big lake that seems to have a lot of fish in it so he stayed. Then he said he never know who owned the land because he never see anyone in this area until now. I told him that we own the land and he can stay as long as he wanted. We plan to build a small town here and over time he can have a place of his own and we will have a job for you too. He said that will would be really good. One year later and now most of the town is built and he now has a place of this own and we gave him the job of being the guy to let others see this great land and took some out on the bank and showed them where all the good fishing holes are. The population of Slim Pickens City has 100 residents, has 120 homes, stores, factories, hotel, dinner and bank, horse stable with fix-it shop. The Changer Church Main Office Church, Council, Court, Jail, Church School, County School and City Hall, General Store, Laundry Mat, Barber's Shop, Hairdresser, Small Hospital, Dentist, Movie Theater, Gospel Music Dance Hall. When the town gets bigger there are more businesses added. I got here and it was just about lunchtime and I went to the dinner. There was two menus that they gave me. One was a menu for the regular stuff and a menu with special items that was available from 1 to 5 p.m. Monday to Friday. Then I know that the person in the other town took over when the new dinner was built. That is good so I ordered something different today and we will see how it is. It was long when I got my meal it was really good. I guess if want something different now all I have to do is come here for lunch. When I got done I went to the church and went to my office. I made some phone calls and told everyone about the food here. It is time to go to City Hall and get all files so when the time comes we have court. When I got there someone come up to me and said are you the judge? I said I am. Then the person said we have to talk. I said as I made my way up to the front desk and the person behind the counter said all your files are in your office already. I said thank you we went to my office. We went in and sat down and the person explained what is going on and that it seems to them that there was someone else that was the instigator that started all of this. I said okay I will check this out for you okay. What is your name and the name of the parties involved? They wrote all them down and then said there is some else but we do not know who it is that started all of this. I said okay and the person got up and left. I read all of the files and it seems like the person was right there is a person missing when all this went on. It was time and I got up and went into the courtroom and sat down. I spoke to everyone that was involved but no one would give up the one that started it all. Then I come to the last one that was going to speak. I asked all kind of questions and when I come to the last question I asked who was the one that started all of this and caused all this trouble. The person just sat there and looked around and then said I was told not to tell anyone that Sanders were the one that started all of this. Their last name is the person said that is all we know him by. I looked at the bailiff and said go get me Sanders. The office said he know who he was and he will be right back. It was not long when the office and Sanders come in the room and I said right down front so we can have a talk. I asked many questions and Sanders said he had no idea that this would go this far. It was a prank on of the kids in school. But then said that it did not hurt anyone that he would not do it again. I looked at everyone and said all cases dismissed except I was to see Sanders in my chamber. After everyone left we went back to my office and we sat and talked for a while and as said I 
have a job for you and I want you to come with me when I leave town. Then he said I am still in school and I will graduate in about two months. I said we will take care of that in the meantime, you can come with me. I want him to go with me to see what I do in all the court cases I have within each town and city. I will see what he said that should be done and what is in the rule book. Well it is time to say goodbye for now and I will see you in the next town.